This is the biggest cow patty I've ever seen. at the exact same spot that I was yesterday. I had to come back up here. And honestly, I'm kind of reluctant to make this video because if you guys see this underwater footage that hopefully I get, you're gonna catch a lot more fish, a lot more lingcod, which means there's gonna be a lot less for me. But, I think I'll be nice. Let you guys see, because I'm sure you want to see this underwater footage just as much as me, see what their behavior is. So this is the rig right here. This is gonna catch some fish. So 30 pound braid right here, going to the camera. I added an extra weight to the camera so it'll be angled downwards a little bit more towards the bait. And I also added an extra long leader and that way it'll have a better wider angle. So this is the bait. So when I was talking about the perch getting the nips at the tail, I added a little size two hook right there at the tail and it's connected to the, to the main hook by a 25 pound leader which this should be 20 pound, but I don't think that's gonna affect the action at all. If anything nip, nips at it, they're gonna get hooked on the tail. So I don't think there's anything else to do other than cast this out. All right, camera's recording. Let's catch some fish, man. All right, double check my knots. Good there, good on top, no frays. All right, let's catch some fish. All right, well, let's see. My drag is set tight. I'm just gonna do a pretty fast retrieve this first one. The hook is on top of that swim bait, so if it gets snagged on top of a rock, hopefully it doesn't get snagged on something. The only bad thing is if I cross some seaweed, but it really doesn't look like there's too much kelp over here. So I'm gonna give you the underwater commentary right now. Hopefully that camera with that extra weight is getting a good angle of that swim bait swimming. I'm just doing a constant retrieve. Hopefully a lingcod sees it, comes up and snaps at it. Look how slow my retrieve is. And that's because I'm higher than the bait and this camera kind of floats. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm snagged, bro. My camera's snagged. Uh-oh. This is not a good look. Oh, shoot. Oh, got it off. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. Uh oh, snagged again. I got lucky with the first one. I don't know if I can get lucky with this one. This is dangerous rock fishing right here. Gotta try to save the camera from this angle. Oh no. Oh, I got it. I think. Did I get it? Whew. That was close. That was scary. Lost the bait, but it kept the camera, okay? That's not too bad. Man, that was a fail, but not a complete failure. I'm not giving up yet. Let's tie on a new bait. Take number two. Water wolf, baby. I'm not giving up. This is probably my second all-time favorite swim bait. It's this green Kitek. Green pumpkin, baby. Ling cod. Link I cannot resist. All right, got my drag set tight. I'm gonna get a fish now. Oh baby, let's do this. I know you're out there. I know there's some fish out there for sure, 100%. 100%. Ooh, that felt, that felt kind of fishy. Might have just been a rock though. Ooh, that felt kind of fishy too right there. If he comes back for it, I'm going to set the hook on him. No, that was rock. It's another rock. Oh, there's fish. Oh, I missed him. Damn. All right, come on, baby. Come back for it. Come back right now. Come back for it.
told you, this is my favorite swim bait for a reason. It gets bit a lot. That was the first cast too, baby. Come on, man, let's get one now. Let it sink to the bottom. I think I got this. The only thing I don't have is how to set the hook on him. It feels weird with that big camera on there. I think I just got to do it the same way. Just let there be a little bit of weight and then just rip its lips off. I try to at least. If there was ever a chance to get one, it's on this cast. Perfect spot. I got bit right here and I cast it even farther from standing up here. All right, we're on the bottom. It's a super slow retrieve, man. Super, super slow. Of course, you'd probably be going about double this speed without a camera. Oh, there's a fish! I got one! Oh yeah, baby! I don't know what it is. It feels good, though. Close to shore. Oh, what, are, what is it? Oh, that's a nice rockfish. Oh, man. I'm going to keep that for lunch if I can get him. Woo-hoo! Yeah, baby. That's a nice grassy right there. That's a beautiful fish. Hell yeah. And you know what's funny? I was just thinking, I'm really close to shore, and normally I would reel in a little bit faster, but these rockfish stay in these holes right along the edge, so I just stayed slow. Look at that fish, man. That's a freaking beautiful fish. That's a big one, too. I'm telling you that green color, green pumpkin swim bait, Kitek. Nice fish, man. Look at that tail. Oh, it's going to be very interesting to see the underwater footage for me. You guys already saw it. But I'm going to dispatch him. I'm going to cook him up later. So, hell yeah. I got lunch, got underwater footage. It's a pretty good day so far. So, I want to keep fishing some more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bleed him. And then I've got this, this metal skewer. And I'm gonna perform Icky Jimmy. How do you pronounce that? It's not, I know it's not Icky Jimmy, but let me, actually let me bash him on the head one time. This will, this will knock him out and then I can bleed him. Just make sure that he's, he's you can tell he's, done, he's out. Look at him shivering a little bit. You know for sure he's, he's out cold. So now, beautiful fish, man. So beautiful. It's gonna cut right in front of his heart. Right here. And you can see his heart right there. Squirting water out. Squirting blood out, I mean. Now, what most people normally would do is they would just bleed this out, throw it in the cooler. But what I'm gonna do with this skewer, there's a little hole. I think that was it. Pretty sure that was the hole. There's a little hole in the spinal cord. You stick a wire through it, and that stops rigor mortis. That stops any hormones from going from the um, blood or whatever into the meat. So you do that, and that way you stop the extra chemicals that you wouldn't want. And actually, you know what? Just for this guy, service of this guy, it's beating heart. CJ, this for you. Chewy like a clam. Not much blood flavor. But now he's with me. Now I'm going to bleed him and I'm going to get another fish. Hopefully I can get a lingcod. Any fish from now on, here on out, I'm going to release. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Beautiful rockfish. Oh man, I like this spot. David, thank you for showing me the spot again, man. CJ, you a beast eating that lingcod heart. Personally, I just think that the fish like this green color better. It mimics more of a kelp greenling, one of the kelp fish. I got a lot more confidence in the green and black, the darker colors for some reason over here in NorCal. I think those are the best colors you can choose. Even like a dark blue and black, those are, that's really, really good too. Got a good feeling about this. Oh, a 
was a nice one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, feels good. Oh, that's gotta be a lingcod right there. Oh man, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Woo -hoo! it's a big one, whatever it is. That's a keeper lingcod, I think, that's my guess. I'm telling you, this green and black, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, it's a big fish. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yep, there's my lingcod. Beautiful. That might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't even care if I get splashed right now. Saving my camera and saved. Look, pretty sure that's a keeper. Pretty sure that's 22 inches. Beautiful, man. Told you I wouldn't let him go. That's a keeper ling. That's a keeper ling right there. I'll see you later, buddy. With that close call on the camera, I'm not gonna push my luck anymore. Taking off the camera, putting it in my bag. I'm not losing that footage. So see this fish? It's been out of the water for probably about an hour and it looks like it just came out of the water. Like, look at that. No rigor mortis at all, but I mean, it's a big fish, so it's probably gonna take some time. So I'm just gonna scale him right now. So I'm just going the opposite direction with my knife. All right, 95% of the scales are off. If, if some stay on there, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do both sides, because you know what? People tell me, don't do the same recipe all the time. And yeah, I'll admit, I gotta do some more recipes, but today, I'm just, I'm just hungry. So I'm gonna cook it how I want, and that means I'm eating the whole fish. I got two avocados, and you know what else I got, and I'm gonna do it how I do it. So like I said, don't worry about getting all the scales off. I mean, just do the best job you can. If you eat the scales, some scales, it's not gonna harm you, they're not harmful, and they don't taste too bad with a little bit of butter. All right, let's see if there's anything in his stomach. No, just his stomach lining, that's it. Huh, he was a hungry, hungry fish. <laughs> I actually forgot my salt and pepper. So I'm gonna cook it a different way than normal. I'm gonna use some salt water from the ocean and boil that water. Let's get that to a rolling boil first. And now with my fish, I'm gonna just cut it into chunks. Pretty big chunks too. Let's see if this water's boiling. Ow, ooh, yeah it is. All right, let's get this fish in here. Ow, ow. All right, now let's just let that boil. Well, I said I was gonna do it how I want to today. Oh yeah, oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna switch it up with the butter. Ow. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Holy moly, I lost almost all my butter. No. Oh, I still got a stick left. Oh, I, st I saved a little sliver. All right, let's heat that up. Damn, it's my favorite part too. Ah, so we got the butter in here. Fish is cooked all the way. All I'm gonna do now is just heat that butter up a little bit, give the fish a nice little bit of a brown. Really don't need to. Fish is cooked completely. Mmm, and it's salty because of the salt water. That's all you need, the ocean. The ocean is the giver of all. I know a lot of people are probably saying like, boiled fish, that's so gross. But if you, trust me, try it. Boil your fish, you can't, yeah, I mean, it's really hard to overcook it. It's really hard to cook it wrong. Especially if you're new at, fi at uh, cooking fish. Boil your fish, add a little bit of butter after that, kind of like lobster. Damn bomb so I'm just gonna make sure this doesn't fall over eat it with my avocado perfect ketogenic meal right there no carbs just fat and protein damn this is gonna be good hell yeah baby try that out next time boil some fish and then put it in some butter 
or just dip it in butter after. Cook it in salt water too. Hell yeah, holy moly. Like, it doesn't look like much. It's just some white meat, but damn is that good. So I'm not gonna bore you watching me eat. I'm just gonna eat and then I'm gonna fish some more.